Hey, what's going on guys? Snooka here. So as you can tell in front of you, this video is going to be about that sweet, delicious liquid you like to pour inside your tea. Hoodie. Hoodie is a great product, a great item to have into your preps whenever you're preparing for just about anything because Hoodie is a great all-natural alternative to many different benefits. For instance, did you even know that Hoodie stores indefinitely? Archaeologists even looked around inside of old Egyptian tombs and pyramids and they found honey that had been there for years. And they said that it was still edible. As well, honey, as you know, is a natural sweetener, but it also has more nutritional content than just plain sugar. So whenever you're in that SHTF scenario and you need to use some honey to help liven up those foods or to help liven up that water or whatever you're, whatever you're consuming, honey is a great way to do it. Plus, it's all natural. Honey has a great medical uses as well. People don't know that honey has a lot of medicinal purposes. <clears throat> Just a couple to note is that it has great antibacterial and anti-inflammatory qualities. For instance, if you get a cut, honey can help, you know, you put the, you add the honey to the wound, it can help heal quicker. Or if you have yourself a burn, honey can help that heal quicker as well. So it's good that you can apply this to burns or your skins or maybe cuts to your skins. A lot of people don't know that about honey. They usually just eat or drink honey and think nothing of it. But it has great, great purposes than that. And of course, the reason why they drink it as well as for, you know, the sore throats. Honey is great to help conquer sore throats. As I'm sure we've all found out when we were kids, we weren't feeling too well. But two things mom always stuck inside your tea was lemon and honey. Honey is also a good cough suppressant. Imagine when you're in that SHTF situation, you may not have enough cough suppressant or cough drops to go around to help cure one's cough to help us sleep better at night. So honey can also be a great cough suppressant as well as it can help soothe your throat. Another good thing about honey is that it can be used to decongest stuffy noses. I've used this quite a couple of times because I suffer from allergies. And all I'll do is just take a couple of drops of honey, place it on my finger, and then I just insert that into my nostrils. Lay back on the bed and the honey, you can just feel it kind of slide down your nostrils and it starts to react inside. It helps decongest stuffy noses. So if you have a hard time blowing your nose into tissue paper or whatever, you stick a little honey in there, you lay back for about five minutes, it'll help react and it'll help, it'll help you decongest your nose so you can be able to blow it and hopefully breathe through it. As well, across the world, I mean, honey has been used to help treat stomach ulcers to help treat leg ulcers I mean that's pretty miraculous for an all natural product that also tastes sweet that you can digest as well I mean honey has a lot of uses to it and let's be frank guys I mean when you're in a stuff hit the fan situation you're not going to have quick or cheap access to healthcare providers so it's best that you can limit that as much as possible. Best way to do that to up the odds is to go out and get yourself some hoodie. Go ahead and start storing up on this now. Especially if you have anyone in your family that's diagnosed with diabetes. Because honey can obviously help elevate the blood sugars wherever they need to be. In case you don't have enough sugar or in case you don't have anything, honey can be used for that as well. Another great thing about honey, morale booster. I mean, who doesn't enjoy having some sweet stuff? You got to imagine, when you're eating all that food and you're eating rice and beans and pasta, dehydrated foods, canned foods, how many of you actually stocked up for something sweet? If you haven't, or even if you have, go ahead and get some more honey anyways. Because like I said, honey stores indefinitely. My best recommendation to store honey, 
I would take honey in the bottles, the plastic bottles like you see right now. I'll put them inside some food grade buckets, store with other foods, whatever the case is, and save space. And that's it. I would just leave it be. The other thing you got to think about, guys, is that the bee population has been declining greatly. I mean, if you don't know much about the bee population declining, you should do some research on it. I mean, it's not just the United States. It's a worldwide type problem we're having. Bees are declining. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's from the GMO flowers, genetically modified flowers, pesticides. I mean, I even read articles, seen a video about somebody, about them <clears throat> replacing natural bees with robot bees. I mean, really? Robot bees? There's no way you could ever replace a natural bee. It seems all they want to do is just put a band-aid on the issue instead of fixing it. I can't roll with that. So the honey I got here, as you can tell, is from uh, Walmart, the Great Value Honey. I always like going to Walmart. I know some people don't like Walmart. They call it China Mart. I understand it. Whatever your prerogative is, that's fine. For me, I go there once again just because it's the cheapest. And I'm not exactly on a high income budget. I have to really prepare and plan my money whenever I'm prepping. So for me, Walmart works the best. Walmart doesn't work the best for you. You hate Walmart? Go somewhere else. But the underline, the whole point of this video is still there. Get yourself some honey. Stock up on it. Now, the best way to tell which honey is the best, they usually say the darker the honey, the better, because it's more potent. There's just some nutritional facts about it, which you may already know. I got this from Walmart, paid $4 and about 30 cents, I believe. Now, this is definitely something I'm going to be prepping up more on. As you can tell here, throughout time and through the coldness, honey can crystallize some, but it's still going to be useful for you. You just need to warm it up a little bit, however you do that. And honey's just going to be just as fine as the day you bought it. So that's my video on honey. I recommend prepping and adding honey to your storage if you don't already have it. Like I said, it can be a great round booster. It has medicinal purposes. Stores it definitely. Natural sweetener. Bee population dying. The only thing to keep in mind, guys, is don't give this to infants. Specifically, infants under the age of one, as it could formulate a type of botulism. <clears throat> and that's not good for your child. Do more research on that, though. But I know uh, as a fact that you shouldn't give honey to infants under the age of one. So go out there, get yourself some honey, stock up on it. Be ready. Don't ever estimate using honey. I recommend adding this to your preps greatly for the previous reasons I mentioned. And you know, guys, I mean, when you're doing things like this, you just got to be creative with it. You know, look up some recipes for honey, whatever you can do, print that out and then add that to your preps as well. That way, when that stuff hits the fan, whatever it may be, economic collapse, apocalypse, whatever you're prepping for, you can't hurt having some honey on you. So if you like it, go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, more videos on the way. Later.